Hey everyone, welcome back. In this ISTQB Foundation exam question and answers, I'll cover another five exam questions with detailed explanation. So the first question of this particular video and 26th question of this exam set is consider the following list. What the list is? Correct input not accepted, incorrect input accepted, wrong output format division by zero. Okay. What test technique is most probably used by the tester who uses this list when performing testing? Okay. So we have to select one option and anything wherein you have division by zero, wrong output format, incorrect input. So basically this is more of a fault attack. Okay. So this is not an exploratory. This is not a checklist based. This is not a boundary value analysis. This is a list wherein you as a tester know that these conditions are important to test and they might cause failure or faults in the system. So this is a fault attack test technique when you use these type of conditions, right? So in inputting incorrect input or correct input not accepted, right? So wrong output format, division by zero, all of this. When you do, this is more of a fault attack. Okay. Now moving to the next question which is question 27 or second question of this video, which of the following best describes, okay, so for which of the following best describes how using checklist based testing can result in increased coverage. Okay, so they are asking which of the following one option out of these four best describe the checklist based testing can result in increased coverage. Okay, so we go through these options and see how a checklist based testing will increase the testing coverage overall. So if we talk about or we see the first option checklist items can be defined at a sufficiently low level of detail so the tester can implement and execute detailed testing cases based on these items okay that's not correct sufficiently low level of detail that's not what checklist based test cases will do so this is basically out incorrect option moving to the next one checklists can be automated so each time an automated test execution cover covers the checklist item it results in an additional coverage so this is basically incorrect statement so tech checklist should not be automated okay so we shouldn't be you know automating the checklist you you can go ahead and automate for some scenarios but still you will need more coverage based on the test uh, based on the checklist so this is also not going to help in increased coverage right so here they are asking about the increased coverage each checklist item should be tested separately and independently so the elements cover different areas of the software so they are saying each checklist item should be tested separately and independently now that's not also correct that that won't give you an increased coverage right so even if you do each checklist item testing separately and independently elements cover different areas of software that's not getting increased coverage as such okay so this also doesn't look correct but let's go through the last option two testers designing and executing test based on same high level checklist items will typically perform the testing in slightly different ways okay so now here you will see there is a condition of little increased coverage wherein we have this increase so there are they are mentioning two testers designing and executing test based on the same high level checklist item will typically perform testing in slightly different way obviously two testers will might use different test data different flows okay so this is going to perform greater coverage or increased coverage okay so this is the d is the correct option and c is also wrong okay so that's how checklist based testing can result in increased coverage okay now moving to the next question which is the third question question uh, 28 of this particular set which of the following provides the best example of a scenario oriented acceptance criteria scenario oriented acceptance criteria right so wherein the acceptance criteria is defined in a more of a scenario based okay so let's go through this option we have to select one the application must allow users to delete their account and all associated data upon request is this scenario based no because scenario or end user scenario from end users perspective that's how the acceptance criteria should be so let's go th through the other option we just point it out when a customer adds an item to their cart and proceeds to check out they should be prompted to log in or create an account if they haven't already done so okay so this is mo most close as of now because here they are at they are talking about the persona the customer okay and what exactly when they are doing 
when they are adding item to the card and proceeding to check out what should happen right so this is the close and this is the correct option but let's eliminate others if contain product name then return false absolutely this is not you know how the acceptance criteria based on the end user or user story would be okay the website must comply this is again just a plain requirement and not from the user or the acceptance criteria scenario oriented acceptance criteria this is not defining any scenario this is defining b is clearly defining a scenario when a customer adds an item to their cart and proceeds to check out so this is the correct option rest all are incorrect okay so that's where you have to basically understand whenever they ask scenario oriented acceptance criteria you have to choose the best example out of there so that's the correct answer for the third question of this video moving to the fourth question so you are you are using acceptance test driven development and designing test cases based on the following user story okay so you are using acceptance test driven development and then designing test cases based on the following user story as a regular or special user i want to be able to use my electronic floor card to access specific floors this is the acceptance criteria three acceptance criteria regular users have access to floors 1 to 3 floor 4 is only accessible to special users and special users have all the access rights of regular users which test case is the most reasonable one to test acceptance criteria 3 so we have to test this acceptance criteria 3 and out of these four test cases which one will be the most suitable to test this one and we have to select one option so let's see check that a regular user can access floors 1 to 3 now first thing here you have to keep in mind is that acceptance criteria 3 talks about special users have all the access rights of regular users so we have to test the special users not the regular users so a and b are straight away out so check that a regular user can access floors 1 to 3 regular user cannot access floor they are anyways out because acceptance criteria 3 is to test the special users have all access rights of regular users right so that means we are left with c and d so check that a special user can access floor 5 that doesn't make any sense because acceptance criteria 3 says special users have all the access rights of regular users that means regular users have access to floor 1 2 3 1 2 3 that means if you are testing or access to floor 5 that doesn't make sense for the special user or this acceptance criteria so this is also out so that means d is the correct option check that the special user can access floors 1 2 and 3 which is absolutely correct for the regular users right so check special users have all access rights of regular users okay so that's basically the correct option of the fourth question now moving to the last question of this particular video which of the following is not a purpose of a test plan okay so which of the following is not a purpose of a test plan so let's go through these four options and we have to select one option so there will be three options which are purpose of the test plan but one we have to figure out what doesn't go in the, in the test plan right so to define test data and expected results for component tests and component integration tests so basically this is very component testing unit testing component uh, integration testing is very low level testing so these details don't go in there so most probably this is the correct answer but let's go ahead and eliminate others to define as exit criteria from from the component test level that 100% statement coverage and 100% branch coverage must be achieved this is basically correct statement that should go into the i mean exit criteria goes into the test plan right so this is the purpose of test plan so this is not the correct answer because we have to find not a purpose right so let's cross that out we haven't crossed first because this is very close let's see the option c and d and eliminate those and conclude the answer to describe what fields the test progress report shall contain and what should be the form of this report again test progress reports templates everything should go and the format details should also go go into the test plan so this also is a purpose of test plan so this is also incorrect to explain why system integration testing will be excluded from testing although the test strategy requires this test level okay so anyways this is this is more of a 
statement why you shouldn't be doing or to explain why system integration testing will be excluded so in scope and out scope right so this is in scope and out scope statement so this also goes into the test plan so this is also not this is also a purpose so the only thing that is not a purpose is the first one wherein you do not go ahead and in detail define test data of the component test and component integration test this should go into the test cases not into the test plan so a is the correct answer for this particular question okay so that's all for this particular video we have covered five exam questions with detailed answers and explanation for stqb foundation exam in the next video i'll cover another five exam questions which will be really helpful in passing your exam and understanding how the exam structure is how you're going to analyze the questions and attempt the exam so that's all see you in the next one thank you